In Islam, it is very clear that men have been given a mandate to be the caretaker. I'm not talking about the superiority or the inferiority about anybody. They have been given the mandate to take responsibility over women. Notice I didn't use the word authority. I used the word responsibility. I didn't use authority. I used responsibility. Because in the entire etymology of the Arabic language, the word qama has nothing to do with authority. It has to do with responsibility. So understanding from this, men are the authority over women, is absurd. Authority comes from elsewhere. That's a separate discussion. Who's the Amir of the house is a separate discussion. That is not the discussion in this ayah. Don't bring into this ayah something Allah didn't say. We have to speak the truth, whether we like to hear it or not. And when somebody gets offended, what are you saying? So men have no authority? No, that's what you're saying. That's what you're implying. You want to get jumpy about it? You want to get a little bit rattled about it and triggered that I'm trying to say something I didn't say? That's on you. But I have to, and we have to be as honest with the word of Allah, no matter who gets triggered, no matter who gets offended. A female might get offended. What do you mean? They're responsible. What, I'm not responsible? You want to take that and run with it? That's up to you. I still have to do, and you still have to do as much justice as we can to the word of Allah as it has been said. So the point here is men have been given responsibility over women. And the first implication is husbands over wives. But there are secondary and tertiary implications. Brothers are responsible for their sisters. Sons are responsible for their mothers. Fathers are responsible for their daughters. We have a, resp a responsibility to the women in our lives. All of them, not just our spouses. And they also depend many times for emotional support, emotional protection, financial protection, physical protection, social protection. A mother can expect that from her son. A sister can expect that from her brother, can't she? So we have to take that role of qawam and apply it across the board. So when he made me responsible for women, he made me responsible for making sure they're okay, for maintaining, for doing right by them, for teaching them the deen. That means just like Allah will ask me about my prayer, Allah will ask me about the women in my life. He'll ask me about my mother. He'll ask me about my sister. And more directly, he'll ask me about the spouse. This is why the Rasul Sallallahu says, khayrukum khayrukum li ahlihi. The best of you are the ones that are the best to their family. And you know the, the, the sad, the tragedy of this ayah? The, at least what we've done with this ayah? The ayah began by putting a huge responsibility on who? On men. And now, now you ha we have the audacity to think this ayah is about putting men at an advantage. You know, benefits are not being discussed here. You know what's being discussed here? Responsibility. And we flipped it. Instead of taking responsibility, we've turned this ayah into men have rights because they have the authority over women. Your rights are there. My rights are there. There are certain certain things in which I do in fact have authority, as politically incorrect as that might sound. And that will come under discussion too. But let's take one phrase at a time and properly understand it sincerely as the slaves of Allah.